After I did the spring cleaning video last year, I got a bunch of questions about cleaning and also a bunch of requests to do a weekly cleaning video. So I thought I'd bunch it all together in a new cleaning video for your viewing pleasure. What do I do on my weekly cleans? What products do I use? Am I happy with my Dyson? Etc. Answers coming right up. Also, again, like in my previous video, I'll try and link as much as I can in the video description box below. And full disclosure, they are affiliate links, so I get a small percentage if you buy anything through them. Oh, and let's address the elephant in the room right away. That oversized t-shirt tunic I'm wearing is not a good look. I thought it would be a cool outfit, but in hindsight I look like a marshmallow on a stick. I usually do my weekly cleaning on the weekend. Ideally I do it on the Friday, but I'm usually too tired after work, so it's mostly on Saturdays. My routine is to start in the living room. I start up by straightening out the sofa, brush crumbs onto the floor for vacuuming up later. I also shake the cushions and blankets that we use the most outside. Anything that's due for washing I'll drop on the floor for now. Then I take everything that doesn't belong in the living room and put it away. After that I go over surfaces with a damp microfiber cloth. No product on it, just water. For the TV and other screens I use a dry microfiber cloth and gently remove the dust. Then I get my handheld Dyson out and vacuum any areas where my cats like to hang out. After that I go for the floors. Sometimes I do the floors all at once, at the end of cleaning the whole apartment, and sometimes I do it room by room. It mostly depends on where my cat bonus is, as he's very scared of Mr. Dyson. And speaking of the Dyson, I have the V8 Fluffy, but I don't have any experience with other versions, so I wouldn't know which one is better. I've had mine for about a year now. Traditional vacuum cleaners here in Sweden are the kind where you pull the whole thing behind you and only hold on to the hose and stick. Switching over was harder than I thought, because with the Dyson you carry the weight of the vacuum at the top where the handle is. It's not a big deal, but it took me a while to get used to. Overall I'm happy with it, especially since it's cordless and bagless, but I do miss the regular head of the traditional ones, as I feel the one on my Dyson is a bit bulky. I don't mop the floors every week. My floors are hard waxed and they shouldn't really get wet too often. I use a damp microfiber cloth to spot clean with a bit of soapa. Soap is an oil soap, it conditions the wood as it cleans. My apartment is open plan, so the living room opens up into the kitchen. I use microfiber cloths, a wet and a dry one, to wipe the kitchen cabinets and drawers where the knobs are and the tops of any appliances that are out. Then I take care of any dishes, so empty the dishwasher and put away the breakfast dishes. I also clear the counter of anything that's not supposed to be there. Then I tackle the sink. I don't use a lot of cleaning products aside from white vinegar, but I like to use something scrubby for the sink. Had some barkeeper's friend left, so I used that. Having the kitchen sink clean is the thing that makes my kitchen feel really clean. I 
I mostly use the dishwasher for everything, but I rinse out and drain my mocha pot on my dish drainer and the coffee tends to stay in the bottom tray. So I do a quick soak in some vinegar and water to remedy that. When that's soaking, I wipe the marble with a wet microfiber cloth to scrub up any spills, splatter or lime scale. On a weekly basis, I don't do the whole kitchen backsplash, just around the sink and behind the stove. And then some seesawing action around the faucet with a wet cloth and then with the dry. I don't cook if I can avoid it, but I do give my exhaust fan a little wipe down just because. And I do use the stove for my coffee, so that gets wiped down too, along with the tray next to it. Mind you, some of the things I do this week I might not do the next, and I might find something else that needs wiping down more thoroughly the week after, so I might skip one of these steps. So what I'm saying is that my routine isn't set in stone. I don't want my weekends to be just cleaning, so I sort of just do what I feel really need doing and skip things when I can. Moving on to the kitchen floor. The part that gets most dirty is the cat food area. We used to live in houses, and when Minnie and Bonus were kittens, I started putting down a bath mat under their food bowls, because they usually wanted to eat just after having been outside. This way they would sort of wipe their feet, or at least dry them. I could just take the bath mat outside and shake it, and it kept the dirt and food spill somewhat contained. Minnie and Bonus are now 15, and since we still have a cat flap in the apartment, the mat still does its job. I shake it during the week and switch it out to a clean one once a week, along with a clean water bowl and a clean dry food bowl. They get clean wet food bowls every morning. Then I clean that area, vacuum and use the oil soap. Wait until it's dry before putting everything back. After the kitchen is done, I bring all the washing into the bathroom to do a load at the end. On to the bedroom. I let the bed air out before making it. This time of year my cats shed more than usual, so I use a brush to remove the pet hair from the bed skirt. Pick up any clothes that were airing out on the chair while the window was open earlier. And again dusting. Dry microfiber cloth for the iMac screen and damp for surfaces. Oh, and this is my Dyson garage where the Dyson resides. Along with the Dyson air purifier fan, which I'm a fan of. And there it is again, the Apple, which someone actually found a very similar one to on Amazon, so I'll link it in the description box. It's on to the bathroom, which is also where I do laundry. It's very rarely in this state, it's basically only when I do laundry and the weekly cleaning. I start, like I do in every room, by putting stuff away. In this case it was the iron and some sheets. Then I vacuum while the floor is dry. 
In the bathroom I use white vinegar and water in a spray bottle and a different set of cloths than the ones I used in the other rooms. I keep track of them by using different colors for different tasks. For the mirrors I use glass cleaning cloths, first a wet one and then a dry one. A very slightly damp microfiber cloth also works and eliminates the dry step. For the sink I again use something scrubby to get the soap and dirt out and rinse well. For the toilet I use an environmentally friendly fragrance free toilet bowl cleaner. I pour some in, do an initial bit of scrubbing and let it sit a while while I clean the outside with white vinegar and water. Then I get in the shower and hose it down. I spray the walls and glass down with vinegar and water and scrub away. Then I rinse everything down. I don't really let lime scale build up on the glass by using a squeegee after each time I shower. So far, so good. I like to finish the metal off with a tear cloth for extra shine. Then I wipe down the shower shelves and bottles and mop my way out of the bathroom. Last but not least, I tackle the hallway. This is where I keep the litter box. I get it out from its nook, vacuum the floor in the nook and wipe it down with that same oil cleaner before putting it back. Then I clean the wardrobe doors with a glass cloth and vacuum the rest of the floor. Almost done, just need to take the recycling out. There was a lot this time because I skipped the week before. The last thing I do is put all the microfiber cloths into a guppy friendly laundry bag that prevents the micro waste from escaping into the water. The bag gets its own run in the machine on hot once the current load is done. And that was me cleaning my 66 square meter of Stockholm apartment on a Saturday. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up, it really helps my channel. Also please consider subscribing. I'll continue to share all things Scandinavian from my apartment here in Stockholm and beyond. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe!